southeast. Then, turn right. Turn right. Well, Tiny and I are headed out to the uh, White Elephant. <laughs> White Elephant is uh, Veronica Vrota. After Verota, that's 100 kilometers from Ivana, but no, 120. So we're headed there. It's uh, we haven't been there. It's the uh, west side of our uh, east side. Never should we never we should we. east side of uh, southeast side of Gravella. Um, so we actually, it's got a nice river runs through there. I saw some cool camping locations on Google Maps. So another part of the uh, uh, Carpathian Biosphere Reserve. Uh, so we're gonna head out there. We should be there in about three hours. Uh, Crack and roll, so we're headed out there for 10 days. We are fully loaded, as you can see behind me in the Jeep. I mean, we're just fully loaded, so. Oh, yeah, it's our home. <laughs> so, yeah, no choice. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we head out there and uh, spend 10 days out there. We're going to definitely try to hit Gabella. Uh, at least uh, maybe up some Ridgeline uh, again from a different. Last time we hit Gabella from uh, Petros, uh, which is the west side of Gabella, and then came up the south side to the uh, to under Gabella. This time we're going to come from the east side, uh, southeast side, which will be, which will be absolutely awesome. So. So yeah, rock and roll. See you there on the road. So Tiny and I made a stop here on the side of the road and you're actually right next to ATB magazine right here, ATB grocery supermarket. And we stopped next to our friend Nikolai. This is Nikolai. He's got a Jeep Cherokee, uh, Kukui Gold. He's got a 96 Jeep Cherokee, nice and red, beautiful Jeep. The Jeep Mania from Poland, so uh, really good. This guy sells uh, the best, the best honey you can get here in Uremshi, and he's also got some really, 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 really good tasty, really good tasty wine, uh, Kogor. So, <laughs> so it's really, really good. So, well, Nikolai, I want to say thank you for the uh, Kogor. Spasibo Boshoi, Nikolai, Tom Kogor, Chunkusa. Spasibo Boshoi, Jokwe. So, Nikolai, you want to say anything about your? Uh, your, your business here. Ti hoćeš govoriti da hoćeš da govoriti da tvoje nerobote zdi. Sa tvoje prada mjor, da vino, e griba. Budeš govoriti? Da. Govori? Da. Što tamo govori? Što zna? Prodaju gribe, sušane, marinovane, vino. Ne tako je. Tovar što priroda dala nam. Da, da, tvoje rjade. Tvoje nogi, to tvoje nogi na Majdan, da? Da. He was in... He was in uh, Maidan in 2000, before he goes. Did you take that to go? Yeah, he was in the... Wait until the car is coming to the machine. He was in the Maidan, and it's sitting out to go. He looks like he got, he got hit in the leg. He got hit in the leg, so... Uh, if you guys get a chance, stop by, help him out, get some good honey and uh, some good wine and some good mushrooms and stuff, really, really good, so... I was the only one in the operator. I know the whole <laughs> well, good morning. Uh, today is April 6, April 6, October 6, uh, yeah, October 6, uh, 2020. Tiny and I spent the night in their most comfortable leather seats here in the front. It's, uh, she's small, so she can, she can, uh, but she just lie flat down, man, right across. You know, I got that, I got that. Oh, man, crap. Oh, I'm up every 30 minutes. Oh, I'm sore. Oh, oh I gotta get out, stand up. Anyway, so yeah, I stepped up the arm, anyways. Little Ayasha. <laughs> this is our camp for tonight. Ayash! Oh, getting some food. As you see, it's absolutely raining, so we're gonna get cooking going and uh, everything good. Hi, Todd! Your camera. <laughs> so yeah, we get, there we go. We're gonna camp here for uh, a night or two before we move on up to Pop Ivan, Carpathia Biosphere Reserve. Get what? Good morning. Tony and I are over here in uh, Ver Verhovina. Probably not Verhovina, that time. Verhovina. Verhovina. Uh, we're below Pop Ivan. We're gonna head out and do some hiking today. Uh, we found a pretty cool camp. Uh, it's below. Uh, I guess the place is all on Google Maps. It's called uh, Camp Keeve, which is right up on the other side of that little barn right there, which is actually pretty cool. So we're in good hands here. So uh, we've met the owner of this place, uh, Eager. I'm going to head up there and have a chat with him. Maybe we'll get him on video, which would be pretty cool. 
So yeah, we're gonna head over to a waterfall. It doesn't have a name, I don't think, or maybe it does, but we don't know. It just says a waterfall on the sign. So we're gonna head up there this morning, uh, do some hiking and uh, enjoy. So enjoy, cheers. Good morning, October uh, 9th, uh, 2020. Tiny and I are headed up to the uh, Poppy Vaughn uh, waterfall to take a look and to be able to see Poppy Vaughn, we hope, which we'll hike to in the next few days. Uh, behind us right here is a little uh, uh, kind of hotel, barn hotel, pretty cool place. Uh, I'll send the, uh, and uh, link in, in, the, in the video page here and also our camp is down in the gorge right down there and uh, we got quite a bit of privacy it's really nice like nice, right next to a little stream which is really nice and stuff so anyways uh we'll leave the camp spot uh also the gps location in our patreon page there so rock and roll carpathian overland Oh, that is good. So, Tony and I uh, did our trek today. Uh, we headed up to uh, Papi Vaughn uh, Waterfall. So, this is uh, the spot today, Papi Vaughn Vado Spot. So, we didn't make it, uh, but it's okay. It's a beautiful, great hike. Uh, we found a place where we can actually get the Jeep up to uh, tomorrow. So, we're going to head into town, resupply, and then get the Jeep up there tomorrow. It's a really cool spot. So, we're actually loving it. Uh, it's October 10th, uh, 2020. Sorry, October 9th, 2020. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Um, our camp location is actually just uh, right down. Yeah, right down over there, uh, below that uh, house right there, which is actually a little tiny hotel, home hotel, which we'll leave on on uh, our Patreon account, the GPS coordinates. So it's absolutely awesome. So, so we're gonna head back down, uh, grab some dinner, and. Uh, Going for some uh, corn soup. Tiny's got a cool fire going. We're having shoe soup for dinner. Uh, uh, so we're going with the shoe soup for dinner, which is really awesome. So you cooking shoe soup, Tiny? You cooking shoe soup? Yeah. So that's what we're going for: shoe soup. And uh, grilled cheese sandwich which sounds really, really good right now. Really tasty. So late in the evening, how you doing there, Tiny? Yeah. No? <laughs> Enjoy your hike. Yeah, we got a little hike in. We did about eight kilometers today, so really, really good. So all of that was up, <laughs> which is awesome. And if I hold the camera straight, we still got to go down. So we're almost there. So rock and roll. Carpathian Overland. Well, Tanya and I are sitting here. Uh, I guess my socks smell pretty bad, so trying to pull them off my feet or dry my feet. So, <coughs> <coughs> uh, <coughs> yeah, I guess they smell really bad. So, my socks really smell that bad, Tanya. Are you sure? Can you tell me? You look at the camera type, my box smell like shit. I can't pull them off like shit. Like two dead mice. Two dead mice? Three. Not three. Yeah, so that's, that's what my socks smell like. That's what I So yeah, so we're just... Where was sex? Huh? On the mirror. What's that? I'm on the screen. Oh, yeah. Oh, so I outside the mirror hanging up, so I got... My socks got kicked out of the car. Oh? Huh? Huh? Let's try it.
Chloe, if I can't some like overloaded with laundry, can you help me find a pair of Natsuki in here as soon as so? Mm-hmm, конечно. Да. Yeah. Da. Ay, Ash, what you doing, man? Ha-ha. <laughs> I don't want to see. Like, oh, guys, I'm covered in laundry. I got one pair of socks, one pair of underwear. And it's just... Uh-huh. Oh, God, man. I just need one pair of socks. It's time to toss my other ones out the window. <laughs> Hey, I got it. Time to check it out. Wait a minute. I found a pair that matches. Woo! Sure, sure, super. I'm happy. Well, this is quite, quite interesting. Diane and I took a path and we're hiking up to Poppy Vaughn. But you won't actually believe what just happened. We took a path. Our hiker trail looks like this cool, dead Medusa type tree. We took a picture of it and we decided to head right back to the trail. We're on a different mountain. Wow, man. Insane. And beautiful. Absolutely insane. We should be, we should be up on that ridge line up there. We should be up there. Instead, we took a picture of a tree up there on the path, and ended up on top of this ridge. No way. Crazy. So now we're trying to get back down to the base camp. We're following the river. We don't know which river it is, but it goes down. Wow, Don, do you believe that shit? Do you believe that, Don? Crazy man, this is actually a cool forest. Monday, <laughs> October after October 11th. That was last day we checked. Anyways, uh, Diane and I are here uh, headed up to Poppy Lawn. So we're going to summit today. Which is absolutely awesome. Uh, we left a, had a late start at 6.46. Uh, we did quite a bit of a hike. So, uh, see behind me, sun hasn't come up yet. So, let's hit it. Rock and roll. Up path in Overland. Poppy Fun style. So, we're headed up the uh, trail to Poppy Fun. We're almost at the first, uh, what is it, Paul, Paul, Paul and Nina? Right? Huh? Ah, Paul and Nina. I never get that word right. Polanina. Papalaya, Pupalina. <laughs> Polanina. Huh? Oh, yeah. So we're almost there. There's some fresh water up there. And then uh, have some breakfast. It's uh, We started out a trek at 637. 745. Uh, whoo! Takes about an hour to get up to the Polanina. Probably well, I need to talk about that. Anyways, that's just... Uh, boom, yeah. ah, almost there. How you doing, Todd? Hey, did you know I heard they serve hot coffee and tea up here at the uh, Bola Nina? Yeah, I'm fresh. I got breakfast, too, I heard. Anyways, hot coffee. So, we got up there, got some breakfast. And, uh, woohoo, almost there. And I keep hearing a drone when oh, my ears are just buzzing. But yeah, <laughs> oh my god, look at that, one hour and 10 minutes, we did it. Right there, oh yeah. Woo hoo! Woo hoo! There's the fresh water. Oh, there's some water. Huh? Hey. Uh -huh. I did, one hour, ten minutes. It was so morning, but and we're up to Poppy Vaughn. Rock and roll, and there's the sun. Ooh, so I ended up having breakfast. We made it to the uh, Polanina. Polanina. 
So yeah, we made it up here. It took us an hour and ten minutes from base camp to get up here, which is awesome. Uh, we did have a nice sunny view for two minutes. And while we waited for the camera to power on, uh, do my fog. So yeah, but anyways, we'll be back. So we're over here cooking breakfast, absolutely enjoying it. So round three, trying to hit the Poppy Mon Summit. <laughs> we tried yesterday, we tried it two days ago. We only made it this far. So actually yesterday we got lost anyway. So yeah, so rock and roll, breakfast time. What do we have for breakfast? Yeah, we've got a lot of just Perfect. Mmm, cool, so the best chef in town. So we made the uh, Poppy Vaughn uh, waterfall there. It is what it is. It is a waterfall. Uh, from the Paulina, Paulina, it took us uh, 25 minutes. Uh, we are kind of moving a bit fast today, so we could be moving faster, but still it's a bad day. So anyways, uh, so yeah, absolutely beautiful. And then behind me, you have uh, uh, the valley. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely awesome. I wish you guys could see the cow lines. Anyways, time to set it up. I'm going to take a break and uh, wait for time. That's good. All right. Uh, so here we are and we're at the pop of mine, almost there, as you can see. Uh, cloud line right there is really awesome, or fog line. <laughs> Anyways, we came from... Uh, Way down over there, around that bend somewhere, and we're going up, uh, 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 up there. So yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. How are you feeling, Ty? Yeah, sure. uh, how's your hike going so far? No tired? Yeah, I'm um, happy this time around. You what? So. Oh, yeah. You got the sun today. We waited a week to hike this up and for the sun. So yeah, we got night camps in the jeep for a week. Um, Oh, we always kept the jeep. We live in the jeep. <laughs> but we always kept the one territory waiting for the sun so we can get this beautiful, beautiful view of what we got behind us. So, awesome. Whew. Upwards, onwards, forward. March. Photo? No. <laughs> no? Смешно, где ты там? Ой, я, блин, что-то на маленьком камушке не упала. Да иди сюда, я тебя не вижу. А. Ну, прости. О, теперь я тебя вижу. Чуть-чуть. Человек, у меня до сих пор было видео. А? Ладно.
Young Tut. Observatory that was built in the 1930s. Uh, probably some history behind it. Rock and roll, man. It's love it. I love it out of the October, uh, October, uh, Don, October, uh, she's nasty. Don? A lot of <laughs> It's October 16th. Anyway, it's Tiny and I are, um, camp, a little camp keep here still in, uh, Pippi Vaughn and, uh, and the side of uh, Rehovina. And we're over here loving it. And the kind of out cooking up a wonderful breakfast right there. Oh, yeah. Or lunch, I should say. Anyways, uh, we're kind of, it's kind of cool. We uh, met the guy who lives up the up the hill here. His name is Eager. He is a alpinist, and he's done uh, Mount McKinley, and he's done uh, uh, Mount Block, the traverse from uh, Chamonix to Mount Block, and he's done he's done a lot of good stuff. And uh, he's, he let us tiny and I stay in his house last night, which is uh, really cool. Uh, so I helped him out with some work yesterday, and I'm gonna go. We started. He's building like a concrete uh, rock floor for his uh, patio, and so I'm gonna go help him out and uh, finish that with him today. And I'll leave all his information stuff. He's really the cabin he lives in was built in 1936, which is really cool, by, by a mountaineer. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, we'll get, we'll get all that information. Uh, it's really cool. Um, I don't I listen to it in Russian, and, and uh, my Russian's not the best, but I do speak it. So, so. <laughs> so, anyways, we're going to have some breakfast. I'm going to head up and uh, help. Uh, we'll get some video of what, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what, what we're doing with Tiger. Uh, it's really cool. And uh, maybe I'll get lucky and he'll teach me alpinism, which I'm kind of getting into, and hopefully he will. So, we'll see. Anyways, uh... Good afternoon, good morning. Good an appetit. See you soon. So, here we go. Get some work done with uh, Eager, the alpinist. So I'm gonna help build a patio and uh, kind of stand back here cooking us a wonderful lunch. Eager lives up here on the other side of that barn, which is really cool. So we got uh, we brought all rocks up from the, uh, and, uh, yeah. Mountain Goat, the Prairie Scooter. Do you copy? Mountain Goat, the Prairie Scooter. Do you read me? Hey, Tanya, pick up the microphone. You don't know how to turn. Uh, okay. All right, if you need me, you know where I am. Give me a buzz. Yeah, we need to leave on it. Now that fire is gone, just blow on it. You'll get it. Just be careful your hair, baby. That's an ocean toy bowl also. Yeah, here we go. Uh, oh, quite a walk. Uh, and don't work. I quit. 
Uh, it takes more than one blow. I did three. It takes more than three. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, uh, whoo! Little hike up that hill. So yeah, here we are, Vigorous Place. I'll leave the GPS location, all his information on the, in the below in the comments here. But. It takes a nice of wood there. Ah, do what you can, move wood around. <laughs> Let's go get her done. I can roll. Уже отделка, как бы, ну что было место. Под сюда меньше здесь, да? Да, да. Чего вот так вот только и полный здесь тоже, да? Да, да, я понял. Везде. Ага, да, 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 чтобы да, мы да. дали еще более крепкого цемента. Да? Поэтому не сильно. Да, что я могу снимать что здесь. Это, это. Угу. Здесь это много. Можно ли снимать здесь? Может туда чуть-чуть можно да. добавить. Там. А, еще. finished up our Pippi Bond trip. Uh, we're over here currently at Chatis Lodge in Tatar, Ukraine. A uh, friend went on vacation and asked us to come over and watch his place for a week. So we're doing that. Uh, we hope to get back over to Pippi Bond. Uh, later this week, uh, Igor Sklar, who we met while we were over there through some fortunate events, which was kind of awesome. We, get to, we got to meet my... Uh, I, I, I've always dreamt about alpinism and never really got into it or even learned anything about it. I've been in the Alpine zone, I've been up in the Alpine. Nothing serious, nothing more than really 4,125 meters, but nothing up above that. But that I've done my things, camping things to survive. I really know nothing about alpinism, so I actually got to meet an, an alpinist, a, a true, real alpinist, who's done several 8,000 meter peaks. He's done Mount McKinley in Alaska, he's in the Chamonix to Mount Block Traverse. Um, it was really cool. Uh, when we found our camp spot along the stream in Pippi Vaughn in Dismer, how do you say town, Dismer? Zembrani. Zembrani. It's taking about three years to pronounce this. Zembrani. Uh, we found a little camp spot. And before our camp spot, we actually parked on somebody's land. I didn't know it was somebody's land. And I, was trying, I took a rock from, from the land to the level of the Jeep. And this old man comes just yelling at me, what are you doing? And I didn't realize I took a rock from a, a kind of a pathway that went up to his place for, for hikers and stuff to his lodge, which I didn't know it was a lodge. And so he came down the next day and started cutting some wood and asking to help. I asked if I could help him and we became really great friends. And, um, and, and Tiny and I did continue to stay at our campsite on the stream. Uh, we did have uh, dinner and conversations with, uh, with Igor and his wife, Nadia. And, and I asked if I could help around the, uh, their, their ranch with, with, with some help. So I do have a little bit of experience with the ranch hand. So we did that and they offered us a free place to stay in their lodge and, and free food and, and in exchange for work, which is actually great. Tanya uh, got together with Nadia, who is a um, who lives who lives a lot off the land and she really is into mushrooms and stuff and she taught uh, Tanya a lot about mushrooms what mushrooms to pick to eat how to cook them. <laughs> I worked at Eager's Land. We put in a, a rock concrete uh, uh, a patio uh, for, for, for his lodge and we put in posts on his fence. I uh, was falling down, we reposted some posts that, that, that <laughs> we posted some posts, kind of sounds like playing like a blonde. We reposted some post fence posts that were falling down. <laughs> Fire 
six. He's got a nice piece of land um, that you saw here in the video. And it was just really a great experience. Uh, Uh, so we do hope to get back over there, uh, Igor Scar and Nadia, I would like to say thank you guys for all your wonderful hospitality and generosity, it was just a really wonderful experience for us and thank you for teaching us a lot of things and we hope to come back with to, to you soon and, and continue to work with you and for some more teaching experiences and Igor, if you ever get a chance, maybe this winter, I hope we can get together and do some alchemism and I'd really love to learn from you, uh, you kind of are an inspiration to the alpinism for me, uh, so it's just, it's just wonderful. So here we are standing inside of Igor Shakler Shakler Shakler's uh, lodge here in uh, near. Uh, I seen the town. Who? Who seen the town? Zimbrona. Zimbrona. We're standing in a civilian in Zimbrona. We're standing inside of uh, Igor Shakler's home here in Zimbrona in his lodge, up here uh, below the trek to Pipivan. Um, this lodge was built in uh, 1936, and let's uh, get together with Igor. Hey, Igor, how are you doing? Hi, Igor. Go, go. So, it's a dome at the building, 936 feet, right? 900 meters of height. No, no, go. 936. This lodge, huh? No, it's not a dome. It's a dome. It's a photography. It's a panorama of the Czernogorsk Crypt. Okay. Uh, Igor Shaklar is here uh, an alpinist and he's done a lot of uh, 8,000 meter peaks uh, which is really cool and we have some of these pictures. This is the history of this country. This is the Репродукции картин Северина Обста Узульские типы Here's a picture of uh, Igor when he was uh, a young man Сколько лет ты делал здесь фото? Какой год? Здесь это тысячу в 2010 год и мне, соответственно, Только 10 лет назад? Да. И смотри, как 10 лет здесь фото. Ничего себе. Здесь мне сколько? 50. 4. Да? Где-то так. Нет, 54. 50. А, 56. А, это же Мелт Кенни? Аласка? Нет. Это Аконкагуа. Аконкагуа. Сколько метров здесь? 6962 метра. Здесь это Монблан. И замок Южной Баварии. Это прикольно. Сейчас я Yes? Украинских художников. 
Keep Camp Lodge on uh, Google Maps. Uh, definitely leave a link below to his uh, website here. So that's definitely the view from his place. So, how would you stay here, Tanya? Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> oh, cool. So, all right. Well, thanks. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Uh, anyways, um, we're, we're our weeks up here, so either we're going to, as I stated, we're either going to head back over to Kutipan or Dragobrat or somewhere else. We don't know where we're going to end up. So this is episode one of season one of our first experience living full time. And the Jeep, it's, it's hard, it's tough, especially when it's wet, winter's coming on. Uh, we are prepared uh, for it, but as I said, the Jeep is maybe not prepared as we are. We, still have, you know, we have small amount of space and, and living conditions, but we're going to still be working to that and get into what, 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 what is needed to, to, to continue to make it happen. I mean, it's just live and learn. We're doing it. Rock and roll. Carpathian Overland. Thank you all for watching. Thank you.